You did a phenomenal job playing Louis Armstrong Thank you so in the much. Golden movie. And I just wanted to know how you prepared to play such an iconic person. Uh, a, a lot of listening to him, a lot of going into the music. The music is the way in with Louis, from the, especially the young stuff. I mean, we know kind of the older stuff, the, the What a Wonderful World, we know the Hello Dolly, but you know, for me, the way in was the connection that in, in the 1920s, Lewis was hip hop, you know. In the 1920s, Lewis was like a combination of uh, Africa Bambada, Cool Herc, and Jay Z wrapped up into one. If there's no Lewis Armstrong, there's no hip, there's no modern music, there's no popular music. Um, so for me, that was that was the way. I listened to all the good Hot Five stuff, Heebie Jeebies, and uh, yeah, all of that good stuff. I mean, he was doing stuff on the trumpet that nobody. I mean, he was born like like hip hop. When hip hop started, everybody's like, "Oh, it's a fad. It's gonna go away." That's what they thought about jazz when it first started, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, yeah, the music is the way in with him. I, I I recommend anybody listen to early Louis Armstrong. Did you already play an instrument, or did you have to learn? Yeah, I play I play piano. Um, I never, I didn't play the trumpet though, but I beatbox. So when I picked up the trumpet, I was able to get a tone. And because I play piano, I have perfect pitch. When I got a tone, I knew, oh, okay, that's C. So then I could play like, you know, where, you know, the saints come marching in or whatever, and I could bang out some tunes. And so that started me going on my little trumpet journey. So did you know about Bolden before you picked up this role or found out about this movie? No, 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 no. Matter of fact, when I got the script for Bolden, I had already been working on my project by Louis Armstrong, but when I got the Bolden script, I didn't know what the hell Bolden meant. I was like, what, what does Bolden mean? And then when I started writing the script, I was like, oh. And then you try and do a little research on Bolden, there's not much about Buddy Bolden. So that's why this movie is important. Why do you feel it's important to tell this story then? I mean, I mean, I'm so thankful that in 2019 we're starting to see a more diverse, you know, uh, collection of stories coming out, and you know, like you know, the Green Book comes to mind off off the top of the dome. But you know, somebody like Bolden, um, who's unrecorded, there's only like one little hazy picture of him that exists. Without him, he inspired all this legion of, of jazz musicians, and this is just one of a plethora of stories about artists, educators, engineers, black people that we don't know that we need to know about. So this is, hopefully this is the beginning of an incredible trend. Do you think that learning about these unsung heroes will change the course of music going forward? Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? That would be great, you know, just get people, I mean, but there's a lot of creative people out there and Buddy Bolden was one of those kind of interesting, eccentric, maybe a little weird cats that was, you know, was creating and that wasn't cool in the late 1800s. So they'll put you in an insane asylum when you're 26 and leave you there until you're 54, which is a crime. So what would you want someone to take from this movie? Um, I would love for somebody to uh, do research and go deeper on people like that and uh, to find their creative spark, I guess. And you know, keep, you know, it's so important right now that we have our own voices, you know, and we have so many outlets to put our, our energies out. Yeah.